media running wild with more accusers' story, ignoring evidence questioning it. In the past three weeks, the mainstream media has run wild with stories from women who have accused Republican Alabama U.S. Senate candidate Judge Roy Moore of sexual misconduct committed decades ago. However, many outlets have failed to acknowledge that not only has Moore vehemently denied the allegations made against him, but one of his accusers may have a hidden motive to levy attacks against the former judge. Several media outlets have been refusing to report that Tina Johnson, an Alabama woman who claimed Moore groped her in his office decades ago, has a history with Moore. Breitbart reported Sunday that Moore represented Johnson's mother, Mary Catherine Cofield, in a custody court battle in 1991 for Johnson's son, Daniel Sitz, who was 12 years old at the time. Johnson was a teenage mother. The case was reportedly very nasty, where Cofield described Johnson as being an unfit and unstable parent. Johnson was even accused of taking Daniel from his elementary school against his will. Moore prevailed in court, and Cofield was awarded custody of Daniel in the case. As noted by Breit Bart's investigation, the court documents filed by Moore refer to Johnson as Tina Sitz, her married name at the time of the custody battle. That is just one reason why Johnson may have a personal vendetta against Moore. It was also reported that Cofield signed an affidavit when she was represented by Moore, claiming that Johnson had a violent nature and that she has been treated by a psychiatrist when she was approximately 15 years of age. The affidavit signed by Cofield also claimed that in 1991 Johnson took Daniel from his school forcefully and without my, Cofield's, permission. On top of those two very important instances, Breit Bart also found criminal documents that show that as late as 2010, Johnson had been arrested and pleaded guilty to felony fraud charges related to stealing and forging checks that belonged to a member of her family. According to AL.com, Johnson reached out to the website nearly two weeks ago and accused Moore of groping her in 1991 when she was on legal business with her mother. Johnson claimed that after she and Cofield met with Moore at his law office in Gadsden, Alabama to discuss the custody battle, Moore grabbed her buttocks when she was leaving. He didn't pinch it, he grabbed it, she claimed, admitting that she never told anyone about the alleged incident until recently. Despite the endless barrage of negative coverage from the media, a recent change research poll showed Moore leading Democrat Doug Jones by a five-point margin. 49% to 44%. Breitbart also reported last week that they interviewed Delbra Adams, a woman who served as Moore's judicial assistant and secretary for more than a decade. Adams said that she never once experienced or witnessed Moore acting inappropriately toward women in her 13 years of working for him. While allegations of sexual misconduct are very serious. It does raise legitimate questions about why the media has largely refused to report on Johnson's troubled past and how Moore representing her mother in a nasty custody battle might be fueling her allegations. Perhaps the liberal media and political establishment believe they could force Moore to drop out of the race, but it's looking like Moore may prevail in the election. It's highly suspicious that Johnson's past has not been reported by the media, but maybe that was part of their plan the entire time. H.T. Breit Bart. Please like and share this story if you agree that the media has refused to report all of the facts surrounding Tina Johnson's allegations against Troy Moore. Troy Moore.